So what I'm going to do now is program what's going to happen when the hero gets through the maze, presumably has eaten all of the cakes, and gets through to the finishing gate. But what I want him to do is go into another room, which in a typical sort of game would be more difficult to complete than the first room. So I need to have a second room for him to go into. Now the easiest way for me to do that is to click onto this room, edit, and duplicate. Now duplicate just means make an exact copy. So now I've got room zero and room one, which in my case are exactly the same. Now there's nothing stopping me now moving some cakes around, changing the, the shape of the maze. I'm simply so I can tell them apart, I'm going to change the background of that room to dark purple. So room zero has got a black background and room one has got a purple background. So I'll be able to tell that I've moved into a new room. So that's the first thing. I've now got a room to go into. So what I want him to do is when he runs into the gate, which if you remember is a collision, what we want him to do is go to the next room. Okay. So I'm going to click on this, on the gate. I'm going to add an event, which is a collision with the hero. And what I'd like it to do then is go to the next room, which is this button here. So if I drag this on, go to the next room, and I'm going to put an effect of, oh, I don't know, insulation at the bottom, whatever that is. So now what should happen is when the hero runs into the gate, it should make him go to the next room. So click OK, and let's click on Play. So I'm just going to rush through the maze. I'm not going to worry particularly about eating the food. I'm just going to try and get up to the end of the maze as quickly as I can. Now you see at the moment the background is black. When he hits the gate, it should take him through to the next room, which it has done. So now he's in the second room. And the second room, we can tell he's in the second room because it's purple. Now, what's going to happen next, of course, is I've actually made two rooms. So there isn't, whoops, there isn't a third room. So if I get all the way to the end here, it comes up with an error. Because it says, well, there isn't another room. There isn't another room to go into. There's only two rooms. You've been in room number one and room number two. And that's the end of it. So I'm going to get rid of that and go back to the game. And I'm going to go back to my gate and look here. So it says, go to the next room. But it doesn't take any account of the fact that there might not be another room. So I'm going to go to main here. And I'm going to ask, look at this one. Now if I drag this one in, it says, if the next room exists go to the next room now traditionally here what we do is because we're going to have an if something happens we've also got to put down if it doesn't exist so if there's another new room go to it if there isn't so if the answer to that question is no do something else so to separate them out so we know which one's which we put in these little triangular brackets so we can clearly see that that's what we do if there's another room. And what we're going to decide is what we're going to do next if that is in fact the last room. So that if, if there's no other room. And what we put in there is an else. So we talk about if then else. If there's a new room, go to it else. So if there isn't another room, well, what I want to do here is I want to end the game. So I'm looking around for my comment. So well you finished the maze. So well done you finished the maze. Okay. And then what I wanted to do is end the game. And again, to make it clear, 
So this bit is what I do if the answer is yes. I put the little angled bracket in. And to make it clear that this is what happens if the answer is no, I go back to control and I put that one into there and I put that one into there. So now if I play again and I rush through the maze quickly. So I'm going to rush down here and up there and along there and up and across. And there is another room. So when it hits that, it goes to the next room. Now there isn't a third room. So when I get to the end of this, it should come up with a message and then end the game because there isn't another room after this. So there's a decision to be made. So it says, well done, you finished the game. And there we go, all done.